Hello everyone, my name is Akash and I welcome you all to this channel. So friends, in this particular video, we will be writing the polyfill for promise.all. So before writing the polyfill, let's have a look at what is promise.all. So I have opened the MDM documentation for promise.all. So it states that it is a static method that takes an iterable of promises as input. Iterable of promises means that it takes one array and inside that array, basically it is the array of promises that it takes as input and it returns one single promise and that promise that it re returns it only fulfills when all the input promises are resolved okay so if all these input promises are resolved then it is going to provide us the array of fulfilled values okay but if any of these promise is rejected or if it throws an error then we are going to get the error so in a nutshell I would like to say that promise.all it only resolves if all the input promises are resolved basically if all the input promises are fulfilled and if any of the promise rejects then the entire promise rejects okay so there are few things that I would like to show to you that over here we have three promises okay and when we run it and um, okay so what we are going to do over here is let's provide it the resolve over here so now as we can see that we have got the array of results okay and we have got the result for first one that is 3 second one is 42 and the third one is basically it is resolving after 100 milliseconds and we got the foo basically the reason for it also so over here we got this array as a result because all these three promises are resolved but let's suppose one of them is rejected like this so we got the error because our promise is rejected now one more thing as you, uh, that you might have noticed that the promise the result that we are getting uh, from this promise dot all is in the particular order it is maintaining the order like it has given us the result of first in first index second in second index third in third index okay so let me tell you one more example let's have a promise one over here so i have made this small promise what is what is written over here is that we have simply uh, created this promise and we are resolving it after one second and let's have another promise this is the second promise and we are resolving it after 100 milliseconds now what i'm going to do is promise dot all and it is going to take the array as we have seen so we are going to pass it promise 1 and promise 2 and now what we can do is inside this then block simply pass this console.log and over here simply pass this catch and to catch also we are going to provide this console log okay now let's have a look at the output So friends in this output we can see that we have got promise 1 first and promise 2 in second position even though we can see that it is taking 1000 uh, milliseconds to resolve and it is taking 100 milliseconds to resolve so from here we can notice that promise.all it maintains the order it returns us the result in the maintained order okay and what it takes is it takes the array of promises and it returns one promise and the resolved value will be the array of promises if it is resolved and if it is rejected then we will get the reason for the rejection so cool i hope now the working of promise.all is clear to you all so now we can what we can do is now we can start writing our own polyfill so as we have seen in the documentation that uh, promise.all is a static method so we are also going to give it a my all function basically and now what we can do is um, we can say that it is going to take a promise array cool and now how we are going to call it we are going to call it something like this promise.myall and similarly it is also going to take these two promises basically one array of these two promises and the rest of the code will be the similar like this cool so friends i'm going to remove this for now and now inside this what we can do now is uh, we all know that it is going to take the input as promise array and the output that it is going to provide us will be 
it is going to return a new promise so we have to return that new promise from here and as we all know promise promise takes a callback and that callback takes two parameters one is resolve and another one is reject cool so inside this function i am going to have one array for my result if all the promises are resolved and another will be the counter counter to check if all the promises are resolved or not so now inside this what we are going to do is we are getting this promise array so on this promise array i am going to run a loop okay just give me a second i am going to run a loop and okay so this is my promise array basically this is my promise array i am having promise one promise two so inside this i will be having the access to these promises and i will also have my index um, and then inside this what we are going to do is we are going to call these promises so promise dot then now inside this we are going to get a response and now what we are going to do is uh, for first index we are going to like we are handling first counter so we are basically first promise so we are going to increment this counter by one basically plus plus and now what we are going to do is we are going to store this result if basically if this promise will be resolved so we are going to come inside this then block and we are going to get the result so that resolved result we are going to store inside this array and as we all know we have to maintain the order so we are going to store it at its own index so we are going to store that particular resolved promise at its index because we don't know which promise is going to return its value first so that's why we are maintaining the index over here so cool now one more thing that we are going to do is one catch block and inside this what we are going to do is if we get any error we are going to simply reject with the particular reason but one more thing that we have to do over here is that we have to check because we have rejected over here but when we are going to resolve so we are going to resolve when the counter when our counter becomes equal equals to promise array dot length so if it becomes equal to promise array dot length so we are going to do is resolve it and we are going to resolve it and we are going to provide it the result because we have to provide the final array of the resolved basically results that we are getting so let's suppose if it resolves we are going to get the array of promise one and promise two so uh, let's have a look at the output what we are getting so let me see if we have yeah we have consoled it uh, basically we have commented it uh, let's have a look at the result now okay so it is saying that promise dot then is not a function okay so friends here is a small mistake we have provided array within array so it will be something like this let's try running it again and cool as we can see we have got promise one and then promise two it has maintained the order let's try rejecting it if we get the rejection reason or not so cool as we can see we have got promise two so uh, let's uh, try to go through the code once again so what we have done over here we have simply created one static method that is my all and it this function takes input as promise array and it returns one new promise and that new promise when it resolves it provides the result of basically array of results and if it is and if any of the uh, promise basically rejects then it simply rejects the entire promise but it only get resolved if all the promises are fulfilled okay so for that what we have done is we have simply returned a new promise and inside that we are simply run a loop on that promise array and we have simply maintained one counter and for maintaining the order we have simply maintained one array and we are storing the result at that particular index only and if the counter becomes equals to the promise array length then we have simply finally we are resolving it so I hope this particular polyfill for promise is clear to you all and friends this was asked to me in one of the interviews front end interview and not only me to my friends also and friends if you are also preparing for your upcoming interview then don't forget promise.all it is also important 
and friends if you have understood this particular video then don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching